Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion review to show you today. And look at that little happy smell. All ready for Easter and for spring. So I want to get him kitted down. I know it's only one, so it will be quite a quickish kitting down. Um, but yeah, I want to get him up on my uh, gnome gonk Easter wall. So yay. Okay, uh, this one was from uh, the lovely people at Outdoor Tide in a PR package. Hi. If you go and check up there for January uh, 24 playlist for outdoor tide you will see the unboxing of this one and the full uh, look at it measurements and everything but yes yeah, so this is the completion review and I think you can tell look how pretty it is I just love that green it's so fresh and wonderful the only strange thing I found was that we've got like a green sort of petal on our uh, daffodil um, and I'm not sure whether they thought that that was a leaf or whether they think that it's supposed to be um, part of the daffodil that's not quite gone yellow yet. But I do think they go yellow uh, as they open out. So I'm not quite sure what's happened there. But because it's got the green underneath, I have left it with the green gems on. It's probably only me that will see it. Uh, but yeah, I did look at it and think oh, that's a bit strange. But anyway... Hey um, I think these flowers are absolutely gorgeous and I love all these marquees in the green for the leaves. They're just absolutely wonderful. I love it. It's just so pretty and I like the way that we've got his beard coming down here and then it's sort of like tied there, look. So we've still got a little bit. I think it's probably dangling in his watering can, to be honest. But yeah, really enjoyed this doing this one. Probably about 40 minutes to an hour-ish to do. Um, you know, not a huge amount to do. And when I'm doing something as lovely as this, I try not to rush it because I just enjoy seeing it all come together. And then when I think when you step back and you see it all, it's just so cute. So we have 10 different gems and colours to kit down with a key code. So excellent. Let me just grab my cutter and we will get this cut off here so we can kit everything down and then this one will be going straight into my gnome and gonk wall ready and i will be doing the video for easter i just apologize on one of my videos if you don't like this sound somebody else did actually say she likes this sound as well so it's not just me <laughs> oh it's good to tell the spring flowers are coming out i'm uh, starting to sneeze <laughs> So yes, I hope that means spring is on the way, although we've had some lovely sort of warmish days and then all of a sudden it's decided to rain again, so yay! <laughs> Welcome to Great Britain, the country where you can get all four seasons in one day. <laughs> Likes to keep us on our toes. <laughs> okay, so oh, I haven't done that very well, look. One's uh, gone a bit uh, wonky, wonky donkey. So let's just cut that little sliver off there. Okay, that's done that. That's better. Right. Oh, he's just so cute. That is just so fresh and spring like. I love him. So he will be going straight on to my display. So we want, we want this bit here to go in my little log book. Because I do like to keep bits and pieces. No, I just like to keep track. You know, if somebody asks me, where did you get it from? Um, rather than having to troll through the videos, I can have a quick look through my log box. And let's see where things are from. So, yeah, that's uh, the reasoning in my madness anyway. <laughs> and then we just want one little key code. Right, these are very, very tiny. Which one looks the least sort of blurry-ish. They are a little bit blurry. I think that one's probably the better one, so we'll have that one. And those bits can go in the bin. I am joined by the lovely Millie Moo today. Um, she must be getting into routine now because she came back from a walk this morning and came straight upstairs. So, um, yeah, is it sort of Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays that uh, I just come straight upstairs and start filming? <laughs> Is she getting into my routines? Or did she just decide she'd had a, a heavy night or a long walk and wanted to go to bed? I don't know. But anyway, she's sat in my craft room or laid in my craft room at the moment. She keeps going from her bed to under the desk 
so that when I put a bed under the desk, she wouldn't sleep in it. And then I've moved it out and she was in it to start off with. And now she's asleep under the desk where the bed was. So I have no idea where to put the bed. I might try putting it under the desk again, but we'll see. <laughs> if I put it there, she'll probably go and sleep where it was. She just likes being awkward. But she does like her comfort. Right, so let's have a look at these colours. They're the extra bags that I need to put um, all the in number order back in those. And right, so we are crystal codes. Let me have a look. Oh, that's 10. These, oh, have we only got one special? I thought we had more than one special. Did we only have the one? Have I got my box out and we've only got one? Oh, okay, nine. Eight looks like it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. <laughs> all right, so they're all crystals then. Okay, all right, so we've just got this one, number 10, which is M051. So we just need to look in green marquees then in here. Oh, that's a disappointment. I thought we had more specials. and It looks like it's got more specials on it. I suppose when you look at it closely, it is all crystals making everything up. Um, and yeah, we have only got the green marquee. Mm. Just shows how effective plain crystals can be. Ooh, look at the sparkle on that. I like the two-tone on his beard as well. He's actually got a very, very pale blue and the clear silver crystal on his beard just to give it that extra little bit of shadow and depth look if it was just all one crystal i think it would be quite flat but uh, yeah he looks really really sparkly and pretty can gnomes be pretty yeah he's definitely pretty and he's got such a lovely smile he'll be smiling out at me because uh, i have my gonk gnome corner uh, just as you go into our kitchen so i've got them all in like a little corner um and uh, yeah, so every time I go into the kitchen to make a cup of tea, you'll be stood there smiling at me. Oh, I think they are those. Let me just check. We haven't got anything else that looks similar. Nope, they're a lighter colour. They're smaller. They're a lot smaller. Oh, they're gorgeous. Wow. Okay. So put those back in there. So we want a label and we want a pen. So it's going to be a quick kitting down, but if I keep having... Oh, they wanted to stay out for a bit longer, look. <laughs> if I keep having to uh, find things, because I've not organised myself to get ready to do this this morning, then, hmm, OK, it may take a little bit longer. So this is M for Marky, 051. OK, and that can go on the little grip seal bag. All right. Put these in here and then it's just all crystals to do for me. The standard small crystals. Oh, just for a change, it's raining again. Yay! <laughs> oh dear me, we do get a lot of rain in this country. Right, I'll get my little stickers ready for those. And we want that there. So we want the next box. So yeah, I use this system now for kitting down all my crystals. So I have them all ordered and I know what colours I've got and what I can choose from um, if I need to substitute out a colour or whatever. So this is the crystal code and this is the DMC code and I have all mine in DMC number order. So if I've got a colour that I want to substitute out, I can now substitute it out from uh, the DMC numbers. Um, so what I've done with this is gone through and written... Um, sorry, put into like an, a spreadsheet um, all the numbers from 1 to 219 in crystal code order. And then I just need to look. So if I get a number 17, oh, I've got two number 17s. Um, I can look at the number and see which one it belongs to. So there are some mistakes on this. I do need to go back through and correct it. But at the moment, I'm muddling through with this because, uh, yeah, I've had a lot of diamond painting to do with all my Easter projects at the moment. Right, we are going to need both boxes because the numbers jump around all over. So this is uh, DMC codes from 1 to 
996. So for every um, DMC number, which there isn't a crystal for every number, but I've still put every number in it anyway, in case they bring out any more. I've got a little card with the number on and then behind the card is a little bag with the number um, telling me that that's that number as well and as i go along if i find that i've got one with the crystal code as well i am adding the crystal code to both bags it might come a bit clearer as we go along i'm very carefully trying to pick things up without dropping anything on lily moon <laughs> okay so when i first did my box um with just my numbers in they all fitted into here but as i've started filling the bags up um, and putting more and more gems in I've now had to go an extra row into another box so that's why it looks like this at the moment um, I've put some little fillers at the back of a couple of these rows because I can't get all of those into the one box I've tried to sort of order it so that I've got the numbers in a better order as it were so I've just filled those out until I get more gems and then as they fill out with gems then I can remove the little fillers there and I can possibly even spread out into this box albeit I am intending to spread out into this box a little bit with uh, some of my special shape drills because I've got so many so yeah this is all based on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest um, ad admorezest.com or YouTube channel Admore Zest if you go and check her out then she does have full um, videos on how to set all this up and to be honest they're just so good I just think you know you go and watch Rebecca's videos because she's just the master at setting all this up she's the first person I ever saw using this system I know other people um, have done it and even somebody was selling the boxes and the cards which was a huge amount of money but then it is a huge amount of work to do it so yeah okay let's have a look at these so let's start off where do we need to start we want those there so we can look up those numbers i think you can just about see this and i've got my little stickers so we are starting off uh number one is oh my gosh what does that say hang on i have my trusty magnifier with me again right and that is 187 so we're looking for 187 on here is 911 gosh okay so let's look for code uh, number 911 and we haven't got any in the bag but it has got a green sticker um, I got these stickers from one of the companies that I deal with and it literally had every DMC number with a sticker but the sticker corresponded to the colour of the gem which I thought would be useful in this case because a lot of them I haven't got so it just gives me a little bit of an indication if that was pink I'd think oh something's gone wrong here but because it's a green gem and it is green then this is probably the correct one um, as I say my, my sheet's a little bit wonky right so i've got 911 on the bag so now i need to put 187 on the bag as well so the next time i get a gem um i can double check that it is 187 do you know i might have to get my tweezers out to get these labels because they're uh, just curling up a little bit it's because it's been well used and uh, yeah well uh, loved shall we say <laughs> all right let's put these in here Okay, I've just zoomed out a little bit more because it just seemed to be uh, rather close at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. So that one is a 911. That one goes in there. Okay. So number two is 23. So we're going to look up code 23. <laughs> it's 444. How strange. We've just been talking about that one. Yes. The good old road around Birmingham, the 444. Oh, look, we've had lots of these in the pack. Oh, that's a very different colour. Look at that. Wow, that's a very different colour. Let me just double check. It's definitely number 23. Four, four, four. Right. Hmm. They really are a very different colour. If the colour is within the same sort of colour family more or less the same I am tending to put them all in the same bag but that is just so very different I think I'm going to put that in another bag and just put a label on it 
and then we'll see what the next colour is because I'm thinking that colour may be wrong and I don't think it's my um, key codes that are off. I've just had a look at the two numbers either side of uh, 23 and it's neither of those. Neither of those are that colour. So, you know, even if my key code was off, it's not uh, that. So I'm just going to grab a little bag because I want my number two bag. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just want this one to uh, put, a, well, put with uh, my other numbers. And then I use these again for when uh, I'm kitting up and kitting down. Yeah, if I get um, canvases or projects that have got the gem codes on, what I do is this one had 10 colours. So I will put number one in number one and number nine in number nine. So that when I come to kit down, I've got them um, in the right way so that I can use the DMC codes, if that makes sense. I feel as though I'm not making sense today. <sighs> Nothing new there then was the grey. Oh dear. Right, and I want 444. Four, four. I'm going to file them in 23 now, look. Hey dear, right. So yeah, I've got... Um, Hubby is poorly at the moment. Uh, he's absolutely full of cold. I've had my mum in hospital again. So, yeah, it's been a fun old week. Uh, my brain is just all over the place. Right, so number five is 760. Okay. So we want number 760. Yeah. My mum was only in for the morning. Um, sort of, <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, that's the right colour. Um, yeah, she was feeling really, really thin and she passed out and it took my dad 10 minutes to bring her round and he was really, really upset, um, as you would be. So he rang, um, well, he couldn't get through to the doctors. Uh, the doctors that my dad uses has um, a system whereby you ring up and it'll say to you, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's already 100 people in the queue. You cannot hang on and just cut you off, which is great if you're wanting to speak to somebody or a doctor or whatever. So my dad rang 111 and they just said, which is like in the UK, it's like a, a non-emergency number as such. So if you don't feel as though you need an ambulance particularly, but you need some medical advice, you can dial 111, which is all still part of our NHS. Um, but I've always found, to be honest, that if there is any doubt, they're just searing an ambulance anyway. But so be it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, number four is number one. So they can go in my crystals jar. So, well, it's not a jar anymore. It's a bottle. And look how full it's getting. Yay. Would you rather have a bottle full of whiskey or a bottle full of crystals? I'm afraid I'd sooner have a bottle full of crystals. <laughs> and that's what I've got. Well, nearly a bottle full of crystals. Right. Are they going to behave when I'll go in? They did. Wow. They all went in. Happy. Maybe it's still got the smell of the whiskey in it. But as you can see, it's black and white. It's got a Scotty dog on it. So we just had to have that bottle. <laughs> okay, so number five is number 12, which is 436. So, yeah, uh, eventually I say my dad got through to um, 111 and they just said ring an ambulance. And uh, so he rang the ambulance and this was like 10 o'clock on the Monday morning because they classed it as a category three, which is non-emergency because she was talking and she was breathing and she did have a bit of dinner. Um, I did sort of like keep ringing my dad. To, well, not tr keep ringing, but I did, you know, ring my dad um, at various times just to make sure everything was all right. He didn't want me to go down because he said that my mum was just sleeping um, and they just couldn't do with anybody there. They're very much... If there's anything going on, that they like to be in their own little routine and doing what they're doing, which when you get to 88 and nearly 91, then, you know, you're quite entitled to do that, aren't you, I suppose? Um, don't stop you worrying, but anyway. All right, 3608. So he rang again about three o'clock in the afternoon and just said, is the ambulance coming? And they said, oh, yes, it's... Ooh, oh, no, that's 3371. What am I doing? Looking in completely the wrong place, Liz. I've looked up number six and I'm not looking up number six, am I? I'm looking up number 171. Oh, dear me. That's with talking, you three. It's 3844. Four. <laughs> oh, 
So we're still in this side anyway. So yeah, they said he was still on the list and unfortunately it was a category three, but somebody would be there eventually. Anyway, nobody turned up. So my dad put mum back to bed and, you know, we were all quite worried. They rang him up, bearing in mind, 88 year old poorly person and 90 per year old person looking after poorly person. 11 o'clock at night and said, uh, did they still want the ambulance? They were sorry, they'd forgotten. <laughs> How will you forget when it's all computerised? Don't ask me. But anyway, they said they'd forgotten. Did he still want the ambulance? So my dad went through all the questions and everything. And they said, oh, yes, she does need to come into hospital. So he says, well, but I've put her to bed. So they just said, oh, we'll leave her in bed. That's fine. Um, and we'll get there as soon as we can. And they arrived after ringing up at 11 o'clock. Um, at half past four on Tuesday morning. So basically my dad had run half past ten on Monday morning to get an ambulance and it turned up half past four the following day in the morning. So they had to get my mum out of bed. Obviously my dad hadn't really been to bed because he was waiting for this ambulance coming. Um, the ambulance people are excellent. I've never had any problems with ambulance people whatsoever you know they're just lovely they're so caring and such lovely people and uh, yeah you know they really talk to you and you really feel looked after unfortunately they were as well i'd said to my dad ring me as soon as you know the ambulance people come or whatever and he'd said oh i will i will and obviously he didn't he said oh i knew you'd be in bed and you know parents who'd have them <laughs> so anyway Oh gosh, oh that's a completely different colour. Right, number seven is 82. Let me just get this one out. 82. Oh, so, oh this is the odd ones, isn't it? This is where... Right, these are the ones I need to sort out. This is the one where we had the pale blue one as 762. Right, okay. And I can't remember what we decided. Did we decide it was number 81? Or did I just decide to leave it in that bag? All right. So I've had this before, haven't I, with this one? So that's number 82. So I'm just going to put that one on one side for now. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of this. Otherwise, I'm going to get this every time I kick down. Uh, but anyway, right. So we want number 27 next. Right. So that's 9, 10. So yeah. at half past four um, in the morning, they turn up and... Fortunately, the uh, ambulance driver did say to my dad, you look absolutely shattered. You have a couple of hours sleep and we'll take, um, well, my mum into um, A&E and uh, ring up later because, you know, there's nothing you can do. We've got her, she'll be well looked after. And uh, so, yeah, my dad actually did listen because he was just so tired. Um, and uh, yeah, they took my mum in. So then eventually we tracked her down and uh, they said they couldn't find anything wrong with her. Her heart was fine. They didn't know why it happened. And come dinner time on the Tuesday, they said she can go home. So I think it was about four o'clock by the time they brought her home. So yes, um, not, a good, <laughs> not a good day, right? Nine, five, one. But anyway, she seems to be all right at the moment. Um, we've They've been messing around with her blood pressure tablets, to be honest. And we do wonder if it's something to do with that. But then, as I say, trying to get through to my dad's doctors to actually speak to anybody is an absolute joke. Uh, it just seems to be the way of everything at the moment. And uh, yeah, something's going to have to give. Right, let me just have a look on this code card and see if we can see... It's really, really pale blue. You see, that is 3755, number 81, I think. So, but yeah, it was number 82 on here. And what have we got? Number 82, 762. And yet 3755 is quite a deepish blue. Oh, I don't know, though, are they? Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe it's just the way that they are in this bag. Because they are the same colour, unless I've got two colours. 
so I think that one is number 81. So I'm going to put those in there for now. Right, so we've solved that mystery. So, yeah, anyway, that's just a, a little chat about what's going on with us. As I say, Hubby's full of cold. Um, it seems to have gone onto his chest. So, yeah, he came home um, in the ambulance. Oh, what day was it? Let me just put these away. It was, yeah, it must have been the Wednesday because uh, I just said, oh, no, you know, I can't go and see my mum while you're poorly because I don't want to be giving her any germs, which was another, oh, no, moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I came home. Um, he'd been sick as he'd left the hospital. He'd been sick twice in the ambulance and then he was sick when he came home. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. Um but again, the ambulance, uh, well, there were ladies that were looking after him, were absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, but he's doing okay now. Um, he's gone again today, so he's doing all right. And as I say, my mum seems to be, uh, my mum seems to be doing okay as well. So, fingers crossed, we're over the worst. But, yeah. So, I make all these plans and I'm going to be doing all these things and then I just end up being Florence Nightingale. <laughs> No, absolutely not, no. <laughs> you wouldn't want me as your nurse, I assure you. <laughs> All right, okay. So, yeah, that's just been a little bit longer than I expected, to be honest. I thought it would be like a 10-minute video just getting down, but having the crystal codes does make that difference. And, uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit longer video, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to have to just sit and bite the bullet and go through and sort these numbered out again and see where I've gone wrong. <laughs> okay, well, uh, sorry about the moon. Um, <laughs> that's just a, a couple of days in the life of um, the Harrison household. Yay. <laughs> Thank goodness for diamond painting. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sat worrying about everybody. I'm just sat furiously diamond painting. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. And as I say, sorry about the little bit of moan. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you've not had a reply to your comment within a week, uh, just give me a nudge. And sometimes YouTube doesn't send the comments through on the day that they're actually done. Um, I can't see them. I have like... Rather than having to go through every video every day, because I have got over a thousand videos on YouTube now, oh, um, to see who's commented, I get like a list in YouTube Studio, which is like the program that runs, you know, putting videos on YouTube. Um, and it gives me a list of everybody that's commented and on what video on. And as I reply to the comment, the comment then is marked as cleared. So I just go into my new comments part and just, you know, answer all those. And then every now and again, you know, after a little bit of a glitch or I don't know what happens, I'll suddenly get a comment that's from three months ago that I've never seen. And I think, oh, where did that come from? So I do apologise if that does happen. Um, but as I say, I do try, it's usually within about a week that I reply. Sometimes it's a couple of days, um, but it depends on what's going on. <laughs> Okay, anyway, if you would like to join this mad crazy family and uh, see what happens next and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.